there's more black men in prison, not jail, but prison, than in the United States of America, than there's women in prison on the planet. Are African-American men over police today? This is the question that needs to be asked as well as answered. And why is it important? I don't know if you're the man who is feeling over police or maybe a mother raising a son and you're not quite understanding why your son may be thinking and acting certain kinds of ways. I'm even going to further the argument and say that we as African-American men may be more over-policed by our women than we are policed by white society as a whole. Very controversial statement, very controversial question. But this video is going to get a little bit into are African-American men over-policed by African-American women? Let us hear what Edward Anderson has to say. And when he gets completed with his complete thought, I'm going to give you some terms and some history that needs to be understood in order for us to have the full understanding of the over-policing of black men today. There's more black men in prison, not jail, but prison, than in the United States of America, than there's women in prison on the planet. Um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, before she passed away, Justice Supreme Court, former Supreme Court Justice passed away, mm -hmm. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, said the laws are not designed to control women. The laws are designed to control men because women can't turn over nothing. Women do what they're allowed to. Here's the part of history that a lot of people, mainly black women, do not know. One. When the feminist movement began, it began with white women. It began with white women who wanted laws changed or implemented in order for them to control the mind and the attitudes of their white men. Black women was not included in this because white women didn't see black women as being equal to them as a woman. This is where that famous quotation comes from when you hear the black women say, ain't I a woman? That quotation wasn't given to black men. That quotation was given to white women in the whole idea and the suffering of what women was going through. As a matter of fact, black women didn't even receive the right to vote until the latter 60s. But when black women was fighting for their rights, they wasn't just fighting for their rights as women. They was fighting for their rights as a whole entire community. Now, there's a whole lot more that needs to be said on that subject. But let me take it a little bit further. I ask the question now, who is the feminist movement fighting against? And what I mean by this is that black women are now fighting the feminist movement against black men who do not have the power to change laws, who do not have the power of social structure, and who do not have even the economic power to change a community or society. That power still lies in mostly white men and it still lies in mostly white women. But ironically, a lot of African-American women are using their pseudo power to go after African-American men. Let's continue with what Edward Anderson had to say. Protest, stuff like that. This is one of the reasons why feminism is valuable as crowd control. Women are allowed to be chaotic or to, to be insert as a buffer class. And then your men are, you have to go through your women. Now, men are not going to be as um, willing to go through women as they would be willing to go through men. It's a buffer class. Feminism is a buffer class tactic. It is a soft power tactic. That's how you see it deployed in other parts of the Western world. That's how you see it deployed in other parts of the third world. He spoke about soft power tactics. And we're going to get into soft power tactics in my next video. Because it's a very interesting methodology that is used to both control, manipulate, and silence African-American men's voices. So look out for that video. If you like what you hear and you want more, hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And definitely subscribe. I'm here to educate you, men and women, and the community. Peace.